how you doing? <laughs> I told you I was on my way, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I called. I called and I left. Well, I told you earlier I was going to come, you know, like late. You know, I'm at this late. Well, I told you that I was coming and I sent you two messages, so. Yeah, I did. I'm telling you. Look, look at your phone. Empty. Why I turn on the light? Because <laughs> you asked me to wake you up when I came. You said you had something to do. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you remember. <laughs> so, what you dreaming about? You dreaming about me? <laughs> I know I'm silly. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what's up, though? What were you dreaming about? Oh, God. <laughs> you have dreams a lot. Like, dreams that you, like, remember a lot. think that that's I wouldn't think they're boring at all I would love to hear about your dreams yeah you can tell me about it alright I ain't never been in your bed before well psst. yes I have haven't I Yes, I have. I said I, I was. Yes, I have. I, I laid on your bed. Um. After after we came back, after we came back from that party. Yeah, I was drunk. I know I was drunk, but <laughs> but I I remember laying on the bed when I came back. When I came here, so I have been in your bed before. So now what? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I left a couple messages, so <sighs> when you didn't answer, I just decided to let myself in. <laughs> the door was open. You tripping on that one. You need a door open, girl. You seem very comfortable, though, with me being in the bed right now. You smile. <laughs> Just looking at you right now is making me more comfortable. Like, you know what? I want a pillow. I want a pillow, too. You got a pillow. Now we both got pillows. <sighs> so. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? That's cool. I don't know why I'm looking at you. I don't know why anybody looking at you either. Sometimes. I'm too much. What you mean? I'm the right amount. I'm like the perfect dosage. No vaccine. <laughs> I'm like the perfect dosage. Right now, you know. You must have been thinking about me. That's what it is, huh? You've been thinking about what I said. How do I know? How? how? Cause I I know you. <laughs> Cause I know you. 
just like I know you. I can feel in your energy. You actually feel kind of comfortable with me in the bed right now. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay. I know you. Look at your smile. Look at your smile. It tells it all. If your eyes didn't already reveal the whole thing. Yes. I really like you. <laughs> Why you ask me that? Hmm. I just can't believe this. All this time passed. And I feel this way now. That's understandable. I mean, I can't believe all this time passed and I'm feeling this way now. I don't know. It's just like sometimes these things just work out that way, you know. And like I said, I wouldn't. Like I said before, when I was first telling you that, you know, King might have some feelings for you. I, uh, I wouldn't want to, like, you know, mess up a good friendship or anything. But sometimes when something's worth it, it's just worth it. Like, I am a high risk, high reward person. <laughs> you know, like you know this about me. <laughs> I am definitely willing to put stuff on the line if I feel like it is justified by the reward ratio. Like you have a high reward ratio, and I'm I'm willing to invest in that. What am I willing to invest in that? Time for one. I mean, I don't know. Like I, I already feel like I spend you know, you know good amount of my free time with you, you know, but probably, not even probably, it would be on a whole different level, and, um, just, I don't know, because I feel like I know you so much already, you know, I feel like I want to know you on a different level, if that's what you want to, you know. I don't want it. You don't want it. No, you know, I know. You <laughs> but nah, for real. I mean, I just feel like sometimes it's worth the risk. You know? I feel like you're worth the risk. What if you lose me as a friend? You, first of all, would really never lose me as a friend. I mean, unless, like, you betrayed me at some point down the line. Like, fucking set me up or something. <laughs> something stupid, you know, so, like, something silly that I know wouldn't happen like that, you know. And short of that, I feel like even if we... You know, say we tried it and it didn't work out. I would never disrespect you. And I would never, if we was going to actually, you know, try this, you know. And it went somewhere, like, you know, and we decided we was going to be us, you know. Then, you know... My loyalty to you would never fade, break, or diminish in any way. So if it did end, it would be on like a mutual, like this, we don't think this is the right thing kind of move. In which case, you would still be able to holler at me about anything just like now, you know. You like one of the 
this room of red and If I put this hand, my hand right here, and feel the warmth, and not just warm to the touch, because your hand is warm, but it feels warm. It feels inviting. I don't want to get too deep with it, you know, but it, it just feels like something really good has a lot of potential on the other side of you know the hill we kind of been playing on for a long time you know but these muffins these beautiful fingers that I never really even looked at as being so perfect are just so soft and good and just it feels like <sighs> what what is I just This is a different scenario than I've ever been in before, you know, like, I mean, we're, we're friends. I've never, you know, tried to date a friend before. And, like, we're really good friends. So I know so much about you. You know so much about me. Like, there's really nothing to hide and there's nothing to, like, hide behind either, you know. <laughs> um... Which is a little scary, you know, because at first when you meet someone, you do have that little barrier, you know, rather it's clear to them or not, you know, it's like you, you kind of let this shield back little by little, you know, and kind of thus make yourself a little more vulnerable, you know, little by little by little, you know, and you get to know them and there's all of that time in between and it's like you know me already I know you I know all, all the dudes you've talked to I know all of your favorite things in life I know your passions I know your insecurities I know your <laughs> what you consider flaws that I consider straight up beauty and like potential and uniqueness <laughs> and girl in more than one way you you feel like home I mean <laughs> Oh, if we got any, you know, I don't want to come off too strong or be, like, too corny or nothing, you know what I mean? But, like, that's just how it can feel, girl, you know? I get to be myself with you. And that, that feels like that's what you want, you know? So tell me. Is that what you want? You think you do? Really? Wow, okay, um, <laughs> wow, okay, you don't have to, you don't have to forgive me, girl, I'm like happy as fuck right now, I'm happy as fuck right now, um, <laughs> so 
So you you want to give us a try? Or you want to you want to see what's up with the us? With the us? With the you and the me? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it will be really good. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, for real, no, thank you. Like, you're saying, you know, I'm a good guy and you know that my loyalty runs strong and deep. My integrity. That just the fact that you recognize that speaks volumes and yeah, I mean, especially with somebody I already like care about so much and so I'm in your bed right now how awkward would it be if I kissed you right now you don't know you know I don't know well what if I don't know either but I mean what if the thing happened where it's just like, I just kind of leaned over this way, right? And then like, the bed was just kind of caving in. And like, I just felt some energy pulling me closer to you. And I just couldn't help myself. 